Welcome to Technodad Life and my name is Jeff and today I'm going to show you how you can set up a TP-Link uh, EAP670 Wi-Fi 6 business router and it's fast. For full disclosure TP-Link did send me the equipment to test. Uh, they did not pay me or see this video before I produced it. So to get started you're going to need some equipment and here we have the EAP670 which is a Wi-Fi 6 router and so it has some great specs and so one of those is uh, on the 5 gigahertz band that it has 4800 megabits per second transfer which is pretty darn good. It also is a 160 megahertz uh, channel and you can do roaming with mesh if you have more than one or you just get a compatible device like I have a, another Omada uh, access point that I could use. So to get started you're going to need a controller either a hardware controller or a software controller and I did a video about that last week and I'll link a description to it up here above. Once you have the controller software or hardware set up then it's simply plugging your access point into a PoE switch or if you have it does come with a power port and it has a power cable and power adapter in the box. Uh, but for most people what you're going to do is get a PoE switch. Now the unique thing about this one is it is 2.5 gigahertz and I do have a 2.5 gigahertz switch so I'm going to uh, plug that in right now and then let's look at the software. Okay so we have our EAP up and running and so what we need to do is go to devices and there is our EAP right there. So we're going to click on that and then click on adopt over here and then that will just take a few minutes to adopt. And while it's doing that, time for a cup of coffee. Okay, so now we're connected. So if we click on the name or the device, we get our utilization over here. If we go under config, so we can change our EAP name. You can even add tags. Uh, change your IP settings from DHCP to static or fix your uh, IP address radios so you can go high, medium, low or auto. On the EAP670 oh, you can change your channels. We're going to turn the power down because basically I'm sitting right next to this. And we're going to do that the same on the 5 gigahertz and we're going to click apply and confirm. We just have one default network right now. We can enable services. Under advanced we can reset or set different things. And then finally under manage devices uh, we can upgrade the firmware, change sites, force provisioning, or forget. And what forget means is that if you want to change that to a different controller or a different site then you would forget it from this one so you could add it to your other controller. Now if we go back to the dashboard we can see now we have three devices connected. Now if we go to mapping uh, here we see our new EAP 670. Nothing's connected to it right now. If we want to map that now if we want to put that on a map, already to this map we've added our switch and our other access point. We just grab that EAP, drop it on the map and it will show up. Now this is not true sort of like hot mapping of the EAP but it's sort of a basic and this is their uh, beta form right now. So what I would suggest instead, so if you want to do heat mapping, get some aftermarket software uh, this one, which I'm not affiliated at all with, uh, this NetSpot app, seems to be pretty good for the price. A lot of these softwares are very expensive, so this one is more reasonable and it's also available for Mac and Windows. So, so let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on heat mapping. Otherwise, that's it for today. Pretty simple to set up a Wi-Fi access point. You take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.